Nebraska farmers brace for impacts on fuel and fertilizer. The Russian invasion of Ukraine could increase commodity prices, but could also drive key inputs up. As Steve White reports, the situation weighs on local farmers. As things start to warm up, Nebraska farmers turn their attention to planting, but they're mindful of those half a world away who don't know if they'll be able to put seed in the ground. Uh, we went to Hungary, Romania, on her travels to Eastern Europe. That was 2016. I was in Deb Ganguish saw farms much like hers. Just not realizing what communism did to those countries. Now she wonders what those farmers see in this moment. What was maybe a wheat field or, you know, a cornfield is now probably going to be a battlefield. We don't know. But that's that crosses your mind as a farmer. I just think about you know, farmland as battlefields. And some of Analysts say it's a challenge to grow a crop anywhere, let alone in a conflict zone. The crops American farmers raise were already enjoying a rally. They were moving much higher, and then this happens and just really kind of adds fuel to the fire. After years of low prices, farmers like Gangwish will enjoy better markets. I feel like I can just take a breath, but no, you can't. A whammy from all sides, you know, inflation, fuel prices, fertilizer prices are through the roof. Those trends started before this crisis, and so did the uptick in commodity markets. Analysts say the Black Sea region is a huge global player for wheat, barley, canola, and corn. And that creates opportunities for the American Corn Belt. If we have a drought in the U.S. Midwest or in the, in the Great Plains this year for HRW, it, it could be Katie bar the door. So, so I, I think I was just shocked, you know. Deb Gangwish is mindful that could also mean higher consumer prices in addition to volatility for farmers, while she also thinks of the farmers she met in the former Soviet republics. No matter what we have in front of us during this planting season and, and coming harvest, um, we need to be grateful for what we do have. Gangwish says Nebraska farmers are resilient and optimistic. At the same time, their hearts go out to those in Ukraine. Reporting near Shelton, I'm Steve White.